Let's assume that our network is a CNN where its first layer is, of course, a convolutional layer, and it has one filter of size two by two. And at this point, since we're so familiar with the convolution operation, if we scroll down, we should be very familiar with how this two by two filter will convolve this three by three input to result in this two by two output. If you're not familiar with that process, then check out the earlier lessons where we show exactly how this operation is performed. So this is the final output. But if we zoom out, we can see that the output is a result of the two by two filter on a single group of pixels in the input image. So so we can see that each of the output values along this entire column here, which are each highlighted with a different color, that these output values are as a result of applying the filter on the corresponding group of pixels in the input space where these pixels are grouped as being spatially close to each other in the input. So we should start to be seeing some similarities here between what this convolutional filter is doing and the idea that we hypothesized about before by creating the outputs for the given input based on pixels that were grouped close to each other in the input space rather than passing individual pixel values.